Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very exciting video for you. I will be playing an online opening on a physical chessboard. I have a very nice present from Chestnut. They sent me the Chestnut Pro board. It comes with a very beautiful chess pieces and heavy board. The heavy wooden board looks like your common chess set at home, but there's a lot of underlying technology behind this and this is actually a smart board which you can connect onto the Chestnut app and you can play on your favorite chess platform. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, I already connected my Chestnut board to the Chestnut app and logged into my chess.com account. So now let's dive into the 10 minute rapid pool and let's find an opponent to play. Okay, I have an opponent and he is quite high rated, almost the same as mine. Let's um, start with d2, d4. And as you can see, there's an inbuilt red light on this board, knight f6. And also it shows uh, your opponent's moves alongside your, your moves. And let's play my favorite London system. And he chooses to play e6, so now I can start by playing e3 myself, and bishop d6. Okay, this is this is quite a unusual line. So what I might do, um, I think I'll just take it, and he will take it for sure. And now d5 will come at some point anyway, so. I don't want to really challenge that, or should I? Okay, probably what we're gonna do, uh, let's attack the king's side, but how? Bishop d3 is always a move. Okay, knight f3. Okay, let's play faster and more aggressive. Yeah, d5 is there. And now bishop d3. Castles. Knight bd2 and b6. Okay, I think it wants to play bishop a6 and exchanging our bishop. So queen e2. Knight here. Knight b4 is coming, so let's stop it by playing c3. Yeah, bishop b7. Okay, I think our king is pretty safe right now. I really would like to start attacking. Let's go h4. And d6. And now, I think g4 is a move. Check, check. Yeah, I really like g4. Because after h5, h6, this also. Okay, let's go. Okay, my opponent is thinking. I'm still behind on time. Oh, 97. That's unexpected. Okay, I think I'll move this one first. Okay, let's keep attacking. Ah, this is what it wants, I see. Okay, but I can remove it somehow. Let's continue pushing this pawn. G6 maybe, yeah? Yeah. And now I can move my knight and play f3. That looks good. Yeah, let's move here. Oh, actually, there's knight g3 coming up. If I take knight g5, d5, or it doesn't matter. Let's play that h4. I can move my rook first and then play f3. f5. It's interesting. What if we just take? Let's open up. Yeah, let's let's open this up. Knight takes maybe? I'll just, just take it. 
how will he take it back with the knight? Okay, let's keep taking. Rook takes after he's hanging. I can take the knight or do something else. Actually, rook h2 is interesting. And f3 is coming. Yeah, let's do that. If queen g5 just long castle. Yeah, I'd like, I'll like the bishop on b7 to keep him isolated. Okay, queen g5, that's what he does. And now it's time to castle long. Yeah, I think white should be better now. Okay. If knight g3, queen f2, knight e4 again, and probably queen. No, knight g3, queen e1. Knight g3, queen e1, and rook has to take f3. Yeah, I should, I should be winning some material in this position. Okay, I have enough time. Five minutes left. Uh, oh, maybe the critical position would be knight takes d2 now, which I miss. But hang on, knight takes d2, bishop takes f5. Oh, I still, I still win some material anyway. Because bishop e6 comes with a check if anything happens. Still a minute behind my opponent's time. Okay, knight g3. Yeah, if not queen f2, there is knight e4 again. So in this position, I have to play queen e1. Also protecting e3, pawn. Where does the rook go? If the rook goes back to f7 or f6, I have rook g2. And the knight is lost. Or even, I can even think about... Mm, can I play... Okay, doesn't matter. He took here, then I have to take it back. And then rook takes. Okay, e3 is hanging. I don't think it matters. I think I can just stop it. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's just go here. Okay, rook takes. Queen has to go to d2. Everything is pinned. My next move is rook d g1 if he loves me. And again, I think the position is winning for white because that bishop on b7 is not useful at all. Okay, queen takes h6 and I think this is my time to do some tactic. It should be quite a tactic here. Rook takes g3 is there because the queen on h6 is hanging. So I can take this for sure. And now I win another knight and potentially winning another material on the way. Rook takes g3 and now let's take the queen. Yeah, I think this is a sustainable position and yes, my opponent resigned. All right, what a game. Um, I think it was quite a close match between white and black in this, in this game. Um, I think I won some initiative around the middle game here because uh, for some reason black didn't use the bishop on b7 and maybe because it was hard to include the bishop into the game and uh, throughout the game I was practically playing with an extra piece and I think that's how I won the game. Hopefully it was a nice illustration on how to use the Chestnut Pro board that connects to your chess.com account and definitely there's something more satisfying beating an online opening on the board instead of on the mobile or computer screen. And as for me, it was a very smooth experience and I definitely recommend this to you guys. And whenever you want to check out any of the Chestnut products, just use my code Irene and then you can get significant discounts for it. More information can be seen on the description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.